day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today we're going to be making little George Pig, who of course is Peppa Pig's little brother. If you would like to make him along with me, simply click on the link in the description below and you'll be able to download your free PDF pattern templates. You can print them out and we can get started. So to make George Pig today, your pattern pieces you'll need are two body pieces with interfacing applied, two head pieces with interfacing applied, You'll need two head fillers, which is just ordinary felt. You'll need two beads for the feet. You'll need two beads for the little hands. You'll need five lengths of, I've used here, rolled satin ribbon. You can use any sort of little cord, braided cord or anything like that. Remember that those have to pass through the bead holes, so they'll have to be the appropriate size. You will need two small buttons for the eyes. White will do fine because we'll centre them in black. But if you have something like this, that's good. You will need your little cheek piece with fusible web applied. Your little mouth piece with fusible web applied. You will need a split ring for the back. You will need a, a length of grain ribbon, I'm actually using 6mm here but you can use up to 10mm for that one for the back. You'll need a little suitable button for the nose with the two holes to indicate the nostrils and you'll need an extra button to attach the head. Our first step is to take our lengths of braid or rolled ribbon and you'll see that on your pattern piece of your body back they will be, there will be little marks which tell you where your little legs and arms will go and you also need to glue on your little centering ribbon, the little loop. So I've actually folded that one in half, I've cut that ribbon length just to about 10 centimetres, folded it over and glued it in place, nicely centred there and you can see that I've just, and I'm just using clear craft glue and I will glue each of those leg ribbons and the little arm and here you'll see that's where your little tail and they all get glued on facing out. So you can see all of those ribbon lengths glued on. They don't have to be cut as long as that, I just like to have a little bit to work with. So we'll just let those dry for a couple of minutes. So now we will add our body front. Now because this little body pieces are not going to be turned through, I'm going to just lay that one on front and you're going to sew on the machine with using a only about a five millimeter seam allowance. So your sewing should start from just above that arm, about two centimeters from above that arm. And you're going to sew all the way around until two centimeters above that little arm. Use a matching thread on your machine. So you can see that I've sewn that little seam in all the way around, leaving the opening at the top. I've then filled the little body with a little bit of polyester stuffing and just popped a pin across the top to hold that there. I've then uh, now gone ahead and threaded up my needle with a, I'm using a fine perlay thread in a matching colour and we're going to be sewing a blanket stitch around the entire outside, closing that opening as we do. If you're not familiar with the blanket stitch, I do have a video on my other channel, Lisa Pay how to sew the blanket stitch. You can have a look at that one. We're going to be sewing just like we did with pepper all around the outside and I'll just show you a couple of stitches there. So it's just a matter of popping your needle in through both layers, pulling it through, make sure that you're, you're coming out through the loop and you can see that it's that loop that makes that little binding stitch you can work that stitch all the way around. So there we have our little blanket stitch worked all around the outside. Now we just have to add our beads for our little feet and hands. If you're having a problem threading that uh, little braided cord or your rolled ribbon through your beads, you can just wrap the ends of your ribbon with a little bit of sticky tape or sellotape then you can squeeze that down quite firm and tight and it will go straight through the bead. The little length here is only about two centimetres left exposed. So it's just a matter of threading your bead on, making sure that measurement is correct and tying a little knot at the end. 
and then I do the same and it's the same amount just two centimeters exposed of that ribbon or your braided cord and those little ends there if you're using something like I am here which is a ribbon that will, will fray um, it's a good idea to treat the ends so just burn those little ends just with your normal gas lighter now for the little tail we take the tail and it's just a matter of forming a little loop and folding it over and we're going to stitch just pop a couple of stitches in to hold that there and then you'll just snip your end you can see on pepper here we've just added a couple of little stitches and done the same thing there and just burnt the ends of that little one there so there we have George's little body already we can pop that aside and then we start to work on the head so you take one of your head pieces and you're going to apply your little mouthpiece and your cheek piece using a hot iron and protective cloth just peeled away that fusible web backing paper pop those on there you can see that the distance between the corner of his little mouth and that little junction there is around about one centimeter remembering we're going to be stitching all around the outside just as we have on pepper so you need to just make sure you've got enough room to be able to do that so now I have my little mouth and cheek piece fused into place I threaded up my needle with a really nice deep crimson colored uh, I'm using an extra strong upholstery thread here with this one and I've come in from behind I've got a knot in the end of my thread I've come in from behind we're going to sew these two shapes on using a what we call a buttonhole stitch or a blanket applique stitch again I do have a video on my other channel Lisa Pay how to sew the blanket applique or buttonhole stitch that shows you up close it's a fairly simple stitch so I'm just going to show you a couple of stitches here we're going to make those quite tiny these stitches around the mouth and if you have a little look at George Pig you'll see that he actually his little mouth is uh, marked out with a, a deep crimson color so we're going to keep those stitches quite tiny and actually quite close together so they're probably only about two to three millimeters and that will just make mark out that little mouth so you see I've come through I've taken my little two to three mil stitch come out right on the edge and bring my needle through the loop of my thread and that will form my nice little binding edge and I'm going to sew all around that little mouth shape nice close together stitches and then I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to be using the same colored thread just to do the same with that little cheek section so now we have made our little applique stitches all around there we're going to add our eyes and our nose first I have applied just using some clear craft glue I've just glued on one of those little head fillers so that it gives us something to really anchor those eyes to you can see the eye placement if you've got two hold eyes buttons there make sure that they are lined up and you can see that that first little eye just sits under that first ear there line them up and then your little nose likewise the little nostrils going across remember that you've got to be able to make that blanket stitch all the way around so make sure you've got enough room for that and I always sew on the little nose in a crimson and I will center those two little eyes with black now with a button sewed on I've just glued on that second head filler on the back of the head and now I've applied just some clear craft glue and we have gone all around the outside and we're just going to glue on our head back just a matter of making sure that all those edges are lined up check that they're all centered keep pinching those edges together you can use alligator clips if you like just to clamp those while they're drying and then we'll just leave that for about five or ten minutes till that's completely dry and now that our little head sections are nicely dried I have threaded up my needle again with three strands of embroidery thread in the in the deep crimson and I'm going to work a blanket stitch all around the outside edge of the headpiece it's the same stitch 
that we've just used on the body there before. As you go around that headpiece, when you get to the ears here, the ear corners, just like we have on Pepper, just extend those stitches, just a little, make those corner stitches just a little bit longer because that just helps us mark out the top of the head. So now we have George's head all finished. Now we just have to attach it to his little completed body. Now if you turn, if you start with the back, this is where you need your button. Even if we're using a four hole button, we're only going to use two of those holes. You can see that my button sits quite central there. It's about a centimetre down from the top. I threaded up my needle with an extra strong upholstery thread in a matching thread and we're going to enter into the first side of one of those holes in the button. We're going to come out the front of the body and you can see I've made a little central mark there that just tells me to come out just one side of that one. We're going to take our needle and our thread all the way through. I'm going to pick up Pepper, uh, George's head there and you can see I've popped a pin in there that tells me exactly where I want that head to to sit. So I'm going to take just a little, just like the pin has there, just, it's just going to take some of that filler and the backing, keep it nice and central and take our, I can pull that pin out now, take our needle through and then we're going to repeat the process and we're going to go back into the body on the opposite side and we're going to come out again at the back and then we're going to go through the other hole of the button on the other side. So the effect we're looking for there is you can see that's just that threads pass through through the head and back again. And all you need to do from there is pull that one all in firmly. Check your positioning at the front. You need to pull it all through and just tie off those thread ends. I generally tie off around about four times, knot it off and then I re-thread my thread ends and sink them back into the body. So there I have that little button all tied off and I've added the little split ring and we have little George already he can hang up next to big sister Pepper. Well I hope you've enjoyed making little George pig with me today. If you check out my other videos you'll see that I've already done a tutorial for Pepper, his big sister. Perhaps you could make them both. If you have enjoyed this video perhaps you could give it a thumbs up. That would be beaut. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming little projects I'm going to be doing and most of all remember to pay it forward because everybody can and until I see you next time it's huru from me. Also they'll have to be the appropriate size. You will need two small buttons for the eyes. White will do fine because we'll centre them in black but if you have something like this that's good. You'll need your little cheek piece with fusible web applied your little mouthpiece with fusible web applied. You'll need a split ring for the back. You'll need a, a length of grosgrain ribbon. I'm actually using six millimeter here, but you can use up to 10 millimeter for that one for the back. You'll need a little suitable button for the nose with the two holes to indicate the nostrils and you'll need an extra button to attach the head. Our first step, is to take our lengths of braid or rolled ribbon and you'll see that on your pattern piece of your body back they will be, there will be little marks G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today we're going to be making little George Pig who of course is Peppa Pig's little brother. If you would like to make him along with me, simply click on the link in the description below and you'll be able to download your free PDF pattern templates. You can print them out and we can get started. So to make George Pig today, your pattern pieces you'll need are two body pieces with interfacing applied, two head pieces with interfacing applied. You'll need two head fillers, which is just ordinary felt. You'll need two beads for the feet. You'll need two beads for the little hands, 
you will need five lengths of, I've used here rolled satin ribbon. You can use any sort of little cord, braided cord or anything like that. Remember that those have to pass through the bead hole all around the outside. And I'll just show you a couple of stitches there. So it's just a matter of popping your needle in through both layers pull it through make sure that you're you're coming out through the loop and you can see that it's that loop that makes that little binding stitch you can work that stitch all the way around so there we have our little blanket stitch worked all around the outside now we just have to add our beads for our little feet and hands if you're having a problem threading that uh, little braided cord or your rolled ribbon through your beads you can just wrap the ends of your ribbon with a little bit of sticky tape or sellotape then you can squeeze that down quite firm and tight and it will go straight through the bead the little length here is only about two centimeters left exposed so it's just a matter of about a five millimeter seam allowance so your sewing should start from just above that arm about two centimeters from above that arm you're going to sew all the way around until two centimeters above that little arm. Use a matching thread on your machine. So you can see that I've sewn that little seam in all the way around, leaving the opening at the top. I've then filled the little body with a little bit of polyester stuffing and just popped a pin across the top to hold that there. I've then uh, now gone ahead and threaded up my needle with a, I'm using a fine perlay thread in a matching color and we're going to be sewing a blanket stitch around the entire outside closing that opening as we do if you're not familiar with the blanket stitch I do have a video on my other channel Lisa Pay how to sew the blanket stitch you can have a look at that one we're going to be sewing just like we did with pepper which tell you where your little legs and arms will go and you also need to glue on your little centering ribbon the little loop so I've actually folded that one in half, I've cut that ribbon length just to about 10 centimetres, folded it over and glued it in place, nicely centred there, and you can see that I've just, and I'm just using clear craft glue, and I will glue each of those leg ribbons and the little arm, and here you'll see that's where your little tail, and they all get glued on facing out. So you can see all of those ribbon lengths glued on. They don't have to be cut as long as that. I just like to have a little bit to work with. So we'll just let those dry for a couple of minutes. So now we will add our body front. Now because this little body pieces are not going to be turned through, I'm going to just lay that one on front. And you're going to sew on the machine. We're using a only about